the people of Rwanda made the decision to put the past behind them and build their country together irrespective of their background. Hello. Whenever I see Africans waiting to see their white savior come from the Western world to save them from their problems, I only but smile because such Africans know nothing about the genesis of their problem. The only day that light will shine in Africa is when we Africans do for ourselves what only Africans can do to save fellow Africans. And such is the video we are considering today in which the president of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, was seen setting a celebratory tone that a lot of great things can be achieved when African countries work together and come together, ends the need for an interconnected Africa. That was the acknowledgement of the remarkable role that Ghana Army Generals and the Peacekeeping Force of Ghana played in Rwanda during the 1994 genocide, even when the UN troops decided to back out. And this actually shows that even in the toughest of times, it's only Africans that can really be of help to Africans. Can they watch the video? And many things we can address together. Working together, our continent stands strong and can address most of our challenges. I said to myself, as an African general play a role in the mission, we cannot turn our backs on Rwanda. And I said, this is a time or the period that the Rwandese need us the most. I therefore sought and obtained approval from the government of Ghana to retain a residual force to assist in addressing the deteriorating security situation in whichever way possible. I am therefore privileged to receive this medal on behalf of the officers and troops who stood behind me to ensure that together we made our humble contributions in ensuring peace returned to Rwanda. I dedicate this medal to the heroes who paid the ultimate price. Today I stand in this beautiful country of Rwanda in awe and admiration of great transformation that has taken place in spite of the history that has occasioned this ceremony. I am particularly elated, not just because of this honor than me and my fellow peacekeepers, but because the people of Rwanda made the decision to put the past behind them and build their country together, irrespective of their background. I salute the resilience of the people of Rwanda. We can see that Ghanaian peacekeeping forces have a track record of success because they've been deployed to various conflict zones and they were able to provide support in humanitarian assistance and maintaining peace and security. They often serve in challenging environments where their role involves a range of activities like monitoring ceasefires, protecting civilians, facilitating the implementation of peacekeeping agreements. Another notable example is what the Ghanaian Peacekeeping Force is doing in the Middle East, whereby they are helping to maintain peace and preventing hostilities between the Lebanese Armed Force and the Israel Defense Force. So we can see that the country has been involved in training and capacity building initiatives and sharing its expertise with other African nations to enhance their peacekeeping capabilities. So we can see that if there is going to be solutions to the challenges being faced on the continent of Africa, these solutions will come from nowhere than Africa itself. Yes. Yes. Good day, everyone. You're most welcome to the Cetros Blood family today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and in case you're not yet subscribed to this channel please subscribe like and share and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you'll be notified of our latest video i want to say thank you to all that have been following liking sharing and helping out with our projects yes I remain Jacket, so do I say true, and I'll always have a woman for the as me. This is that's also the most handsome, capable, Africanicious, only pumping a physical pound husband. And as usual, I have my most scintillating pepperoni sugarlicious hot baby girl. Hmm, think of. <laughs> okay, you can see, Mr. Setro, I've told you that your clientele, <laughs> what he. What is shaking me? What is big baggy in Africa? Do you I know what that means? I said they've already missed it and they've lost the battle in Africa. We can see what has been said uh, that the solution to Africans' problems and challenges will come from no other place than Africa. And that was what happened way back in 1994 during the Rwandan genocide. When your clientele they backed out when they were mostly needed. But thank God for the son of the soil, these army generals that were the leaders of the peacekeeping force for Ghana. And they said, no, we can't look at our fellow. These are, we are of the same blood, Africans. There is nothing like Rwandese, uh, Ghanaian. We are going to help them. So he had to take permission to leave about 450 of Ghanaian troops there. And they were able to help rescue the civilians from different things and they were able to help restore peace in, in Rwanda. And Rwanda is already becoming like the Singapore of Africa. And yet your clientele are still coming back to tell us that, oh, Kigame is a diesel, is a that, is a that, is a that. You don't follow this, you follow democracy that we are follow for how many years and it is just crazy, crazy. Every year they are killing, they are, they, are, they, are, they are just taking our resources, mining our resources. People are dying of a better back poverty, and yet your own joy is just that you are just siphoning everything to your to your place. But we see people like this, they stood in the face of war, they helped each other, and you are saying Africans, kudos. I, I say thanks to this celebration, thanks to this acknowledgement, thanks to these uh, medals that are going to these uh, great military uh, uh, men that have helped during this uh, genocide war in Rwanda. So you don't have anything to say. That is just a, today is just to, to close the case because this is a track record of success. What do you have to say? Are you done with your ranting? <laughs> no, I always laugh. Especially when I watch this, this my my wife begin to talk just like an African woman that she is. My clientele have numerous reasons why they behave in numerous ways. The Ghanaian military guys that you are seeing there, they might, the possibility is there that they might have Otomoko. But we, you know, my clientele, they do not have Ayeta. <laughs> so in the face of serious machete, because those people are not even using gun and this thing, they were using machete. And there is no Ayemachet. <laughs> you know, so, that's not what you are saying. You know, they were using machete and you know, you African people, you have Juju. Juju, you have voodoo. So that your voodoo might be the one protecting you from cutlass. But you know, my clientele, their skin is so delicate. Ordinary sun is showing the absence of melanin. Talk less of stilled cutlass, cutlass with the rust, rusted cutlass. So when you see people behave in certain way, don't over blame them. And more also, what do you want my clientele to come and die for? Africans, no, now it's too is a cheaper way to die. So they have to respect themselves and say, let us go back, so that when you people are finished dealing with yourself, you can call us back. Then after all, they intervened, but you people did not listen. They at least they were around, and we don't. My clientele now do not understand why you are giving accolade to to the. To, to, to the African soldiers from Ghana. Why are you not giving accolades to, to, to the UN peacekeeping force in general? And especially that Hotel Rwanda a man that the whole of the West were hailing. Why are you not giving him accolades? You are now shipping the accolade to, to, to Ghanaian military officers. Kodabel, it's not nice. 
the priority of my clientele is to make sure that the resources of Africa are well kept in safe hands. Even at the expense of the lives of the no, Africans. We are not so that even if lives. the Africans you just uh, 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 initiated this, uh, what is it called, division between them saying use the Utu, so when you see this sign, know that this is an Utu. When you see this sign, know that this is a Tutsi. Just begin to kill yourself, begin to fight, begin to do this, so that you can just be there, packing all that you need to pack, so that they should help finish each other, Nobody. and your clientele Nobody. will now come Nobody. and Nobody. possess all they want to possess. So they should go, they should not help them to resolve the challenge, but you now say you are peacekeeping, and you now want your military, whatever, and you, you people are just, we came to keep are just peace. We came to, just... My clientele came to Rwanda to keep peace. But as we were keeping the peace, we should not also introduce fighting and all those of we were trying to keep the peace. And when we discovered that the keep peace we were trying to keep there was already traveling, we have to travel back to the peace. It's, it's so all... it is you Africans that you, you, you make a big deal out of something. Whether it is a Ghanaian peacekeeping force or any other peacekeeping force, we are the we are the UN that provided all that security forces for you. Mm -hmm. So even if we, we decide some part of us decide to leave and leave your black fellow colored men here to ensure the peace, it's still the police should stick up for us. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that means? I will let you to translate to you. It's not, it's not my mouth that you hear. You must be, you must be. I don't want to say what you must be. You see, you're tired. What I wanted to say something. Yes, so sorry. I have to interrupt this, your watch on this video to tell you to please subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos, as well as press the notification bell so that you'll be notified of our latest videos. Thank you very much. But I discovered that it's like, I'm reacting to beans <laughs> because see, sometimes my clientele they work like they, they work like in short they are, they are trying they are trying for Africa you know sometimes even in marriage it's not till death do us part that some people do they do till contract do us part sometimes the contract process. might not be favorable 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 so my clientele can go when they see that they are being provoked to take actions you see so instead of instead of taking actions that we will now say ah you have killed too many people in africa we decided to just go, go where you were most needed when people were you, you the, 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 that war was already initiated Baseless war, people fighting against each other, this tribe, once you, Paul Kagame was able to come with the help of this uh, Ghanaian. The war just stood that look. They were, they were not, she be now, you be hearing, eh, Russia, Ukraine, this, that, they were not saying anything. They just said, let them, who are they? Are they humans? Are they humans or are they monkeys? Let them continue to kill themselves. So by the time they finish killing themselves, but thank God. Wait, for people. Uh -uh. Why, why uh -uh. do Wait. you Africans be killing each other? It shows that you people, there is something that is missing. It's like you people have virus in your head. It is your you, work. You, why will you be killing each other? And you now expect us to come and sacrifice our people for your people. Wait now. Why will you be killing each other? Are you not that intelligent? If you are not a, a family of monkeys. Why would you be killing yourself? And you say you are brothers. You are killing yourself and you now want my clientele to leave their peaceful place there to come and die. You don't know that it is people that do not have money that wants to die. Who is people that have money in their accounts. People that have good food in their fridge. Especially our brothers. Everywhere is fridge. Even inside their fridge is not as cold as inside their snow. You want them to come and die for you. Ekbaro. You are a monster total. So, who were those that initiated the thoughts, the principles, all that led to 
this out or we were this seeing each other as enemies. No, but and is it not the work of your clientele? No, no you, you have to go and search no. very well. You will see. No. It's the, the, the mind system that they've been made, the belief system they've been handed over to. And when Paul Kigame no. got back, got back uh, as he brought them together and they were able to come back after the war. That was the first thing, the reformation of the mind. We began to say, if you are two T.O., if you are old T.O., whatever you are, maybe in Nigeria, now you are Yoruba, you are Igbo, we are one, no, I would say we are one. Whatever you try, whatever, we, we are the same Africa, one inter connected, one interrelated Africa. It is what you, your people have done. So they even went into, they, after dividing us into 54 pieces, they now still went into each country's dividing them within the tribe, saying, no, this no, is, what did I they do in that. my own country? Only, what did they do? Wait, what did your clientele do in my own country? They divided. This is the this so this is the Awusa, so this is the Ibos, this is the Yoruba, and they went to give. They and you see, I said they went to give. It's not my, it's not my local dialect. They went to give at in, uh, when they were doing their independence. Who are those that they gave the uh, 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 the seat of power to? Those that they know that they can control. I don't want to talk because I'm here in Nigeria. So they gave them so that <clears throat> they can begin to do whatever they like. And that has been the major cause of what has been bedeviling. All this thing you are saying is baseless. It is very baseless. Please just, comment in the comment section just, below if you it's understand. It's just your imaginations. You people imagine a lot. That's why in your imagination, you'll be saying, ah, SOP, we are not doing this. Yeah, like, we are not supporting this. How many times have you come over to Europe to come and die for us? How many times have you left Africa to come over to, to the West, to come and die for the West? The How way, many times have you invite... left your borders to be porous, to be just free, that you can come in? Is your borders free like that? And is it easy going there? Is it not you people that will get on the plane and start using your two legs, two head, and coming to where it's not your and father's your children, land? your children in Africa, are they not the ones that are using balloon to enter our country? And we are opening the gate for them. What's See, the, 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 the stuff is this. You Africans, when you decide to be wise, you will stop killing each other. But so far, you love to kill each other. Who are we to stop you? That's because it. when you even start killing each other, it makes the job of my clientele easier. We will not need to even be doing international politics. All we just need to do is to drive down our uh, Mongoro train and this to come and take resources. So please, for all of you that are busy killing yourself in Africa, we will hear you continue so that we can continue to have easy access to the raw materials. Some of you said some of the places that are in your continent, continent that you do not even know that the resources are. Go and be fighting there so that we'll have access to natural resources. Sorry, when I say go, I'm talking about my clientele. Giving you the permission. Choose yourself which way you want to follow. Because we, we are not going to sacrifice. My clientele is not ready to sacrifice any of their people. Just for your baseless fighting, ethnic clash, and this. Mm. She, is it if if you say you are saying that it is my clientele, my clientele that are doing this and instigating you against each other? Don't you have head? I be that your head is coconut brain. Eh? Yes. Don't you have brain to think to say ah? Even if my clientele is saying uh, this and they are trying to say Tutsi and uh, the Utsu and this thing, the whole of you are brothers. Are you not supposed to use your brain? Yeah, you will always be looking for how to ship your problem to us. We have enough problem that my clientele is nothing. The problem on how to use your mineral resources to produce more chemical weapons to protect the world, more powerful tools, more, you know, more productive things that can be produced out of your mineral resources. So if you people love to fight, Emma and Jalo, we will just take what we want to use. And produce and still help you. When, when, when because when we finish producing, it is still you people that are fighting, you will buy. I have always told you on this platform mm -hmm. it's game over. It's, it's not, not business over. as usual. That was 1994. Uh, and for a president to come now and be appreciating 
Oh, deep remarkable. Why is it coming now? That's even the painful thing. Why is it coming now? It is now that uh, all these small small boys are causing problem in Africa. That this Kagame, this Kagame, I tell you, is a terrorist. Why is it eh? coming now? Why, why is it coming now to destabilize to destabilize Africa away from our plan? It is not good. Kagame, stop it. Leave Africa. Let Africa. You can. You are. You are facing your country. We are not talking. No. Well, leave the rest of Africa for us. It's already too late. Why? It's already too late. So, you see, the, the uh, African countries are now synergizing efforts together and everything is going to work out perfectly. You see, even uh, as, I, as you heard... This Kagame is a dictator, I'm telling you. He's a dictator. Even too Ghanaian much a dictator. Uh, uh, peacekeeping uh, forces, they are even being trained, not just beyond the military uh, plurals, they are doing so many other things to help install peace and every other thing that is needed to make sure that the continent of Africa is in good security within the continent and helping neighboring countries. So what do you see to that? Not only Paul Kagame. And we can see Ibrahim Tori, we can see Niger, we can see Mali now, they're coming together. You people are building, you people what? are busy building so, dictators. People that are dictating to you people how you should behave. See, listen to us. Let us be the one dictating, uh, sorry, not dictating, advising you on how to live your life. But don't follow all these dictators. They are going to be the one to be dictating to you that this is good, this is that, and they are building a fine place to convince you. Come and follow us so that we can confuse you. So not... I, sorry, come and follow us so that we can convince you on how best to live your life because we know better than Africa. It's not just building for public. These people have track record of, of success. Go and check Rwanda. The life expectancy rates in Rwanda has what improved significantly. That's and the their living standard, the work of their living standard has improved significantly. That's the work of Everything, their amenities, you can you see the buildings, can you see the infrastructure? That is can the you work see of a dictator. The, the, can't you see the various hydropower plant projects is embarking on? That is the, the gas, work of a dictator. What of the gas projects? He's a dictator that will always do something. What of the airports? He's a dictator that is doing it. <laughs> Don't follow him. So, what that dictator, who are the beneficiaries? Is it the only one that is going to benefit from all those things? Why doing? must he be the one to be dictating good, good things to you? You must. Why be. not we suggest it? If, you? if you allow me to say to you and your client, that why is on my mind? Why that's what, true. Why? I like Kagame is a dictator. He dictates too many things to you. You yeah, should not follow him. Follow our democracy. Demonstration where place. everybody must agree. Oh God, one that time thing, is good. One thing. It's I I, 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 I I'm sorry to be the bearer of a bad news. Okay. So so sorry. So friend. and that's it on the show today. This is with the Cetras bringing it this way how it is. So uh, what do you feel about this latest trend in which uh Rwanda is appreciating Ghana? Is this not a very nice move? Saying we remember what you did to us. Only any to no no to bad no me that is a bad ditch. If you're grateful for what was done for you yesterday, you're going to be opportune to have another one today. And that's a, that's one of the cultural belief of the Yorubas in Africa. Mm. They have that culture of mm. gratitude. 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 So, and that's what is transferring to Rwanda. And I'm so very, I'm really elated about this. I, I'm, I'm really, really happy about it that mm. uh, President Kagame is appreciating uh Ghana for all they did and oh no 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 this is really really this is really really what do you think about this what do you think about this let's hear from you in the comment section and what do you think Mr. Seto Kante it's not now now it's not uh, and now it's not just uh, maybe the uh what's it called though, that you're talking about it's not just the military junta these are civilians are purchasing civilians this Kagame is civilian yes president is a, a camouflage of a dictator yeah. appearing to be a civilian Follow more, eh, like and, more. let me tell you you people of uh you, what's that your name rwanda. Again? rwanda you better remove him remove him and put a democratically elected president there that Washington, that uh, the rest of Europe 
we say, mm, you have uh, done well. That, that, that would have allowed them to, assuming there is no place called Rwanda again, with your people now, your clientele, will they be seeing anything they want to say? We are doing this. I don't want to mention some things on global TV that they are doing. Now we're going to be sending uh, uh, those seeking asylum. We're going to send be sending them to, them to, to Rwanda. Send it's, them to that. it's a safe place. It's a clinical. We send so, them to Gaza. So, 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 you don't even, I don't know what to say to you. Because it's somebody can solve me, but you will have to me. I share a graph. My goodness, please don't get to that part. Anyway, with that, with that being said, we want to say we want to go now before it becomes a family fight. <laughs> so that's just it. Uh, this week, saying it the way it is, the centuries, and with a smile and a pinch of joy. Don't forget that the greatest thing you have in life is your joy because your joy is your strength. Mm -hmm. And your strength comes from within, and your strength comes from the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So, Make sure you get connected to the Holy Spirit to have your strength and your joy. And we're going to be taking this joy to the streets of Africa on the 23rd. We have to postpone to the 23rd because of Mr. Petrus' time there. Well, on the 23rd of December 2023, we shall be going to the streets of Lagos yeah. to go and feed about 1,000 plus people that are going through the challenges of... Um, feeding themselves at this period in time where the prices of goods and commodity groceries are going up. We just want to lend our own helping and through the use of our foundation to feed the less privileged. So if you are in Lagos, you can join us up on the 23rd of December. December. It's a Saturday so that you can join us to go and serve to feed the people. And if you want to support us with uh, cash, uh, what we call $100, Ten dollar, one dollar, two dollar, five dollar, any amount will welcome your support. Okay, you can see and our account details below. Yeah. I want to say a very big thank you to all that have been helping us and supporting us on this project, as well as our Christmas chicken distribution and our helping the indigent but diligent African youth because that's the core of our foundation. We have never let that. We are still doing so many things on the ground. So training our indigent but diligent African youth and you are going to the same. Thank you so very much. So this is we saying thank you, catch you, love you, bye-bye.